Hello, hello, people. This is Elise from Boss of Mixed Media, and we are now doing part six. Okay, if you was with me throughout this adventure with the, the fish, which is the, so you would just say aquarium on a hoop. Okay, now we are going to do our school of fish, finally. But before we do that, I had added some more color, decorative colors to this. Remember I was telling y'all about the wax thread, which usually you use when you do um, leather. This is perfect for the seaweed, or if you want to call it a plant, or any tropical plant under the sea. So I had put added the blue, the green, and it really gave it that pop that it needs. So I put it on different areas of this. So it's perfect. It makes it look like it's really under the sea. And plus it's like 3D. So that was awesome. What? So if you can, try to do that to your... And now, remember I was saying I will go on to do the school of fishes. So this is what I did. I did two of them and two sequence colors which was the yellow and the purple and I put the French knot which is the eyes of course and then I did a multicolor um, fish I mean all school of fishes don't have to be all the same colors but then I said oh let me try this in a different form of color so I did but what I'm gonna do with you guys which you are hopefully will do this on your um under the sea project is um if it, the fabric has a fish there you can still embellish it with your own threads and make it the way you want so what i did i went over the fish but outlined it to a larger print so i made it larger than what it is because i said hey that's too small so what i did i just took a little marker pen and then i outlined the, the fish there but what i'm gonna do when I do the thread part, I make sure that the pen marks don't show. And not only that, I did the um, turtle here, which is awesome. And I did embellish it with different threads, the green, the blue, highlighted with the beige and add a little brown to it. So this was not on here, but what I did, I got the fabric, I cut the turtle out. And then I just, you know, I'm sorry, yeah, the turtle, or the frog, <laughs> I believe it was, no, the turtle, okay, <laughs> I have to think for a minute, okay, this was a turtle, so what I did, I embellished it with different threads to give it that pop, and so you don't even see the, the, um, other, um, fabric there, I colored it all with fabric with just the thread. I color it all, embellish it with thread. Now this one, I did highlight it with different colors of the embroidery thread or floss, if you want to say. And then what I did, I added a piece of another um, embellishment on it, which was really decent because what it did, it gave it that pop. So um, let me see, can I show y'all this? Okay, so if you have anything that's like you want to add to your this trimmings and I believe this will be nice and I'm thinking about even adding a trimming trimming to this one too so I haven't decided yet after I'll after I start doing the threads and everything but I was thinking about just cutting it where the thread is really popular and this fish here it has a touch of purple, but I'm thinking about and it has a little bit of the red. So I was thinking about angling it, it to a size that will go well with the tail of this fabric. So I haven't decided that. So we might have another episode that I will embellish it the thinness, which is this um, thin hair, and add this to it. So stay tuned for that. And what I did, I had this little fish here and I just put which was cut from the fabrics because let me show you guys what I did I did a lot of um I did a lot of fabrics and try to decide which ones to put like this is a turtle okay I was thinking about putting that but I I just wanted enough room see the turtle here I just wanted enough room that 
I didn't want to overcrowd the ocean, my sea, um, under the sea. So I got to actually um, cut them out to see what will go well with the under the sea. And after I found out which ones, it was perfect. So you don't want to overdo it because I think if you overdo it, then it looks too, um, you know, too all go up. And I didn't want it to be that, you know, that. Although this right here is a little lot, a lot going on here, but it's not, it still have room here. And I'm still debating on putting my mermaid. And I'm thinking about if I do, I'm gonna leave this silver here and just cut her out and just trim her on the end. So that would definitely, this will, if I do that, it will definitely be the last episode. So with that said, today we are going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to attach this part of fabric to this, okay? And I I want this to show, keep the this here, so it seems like it's coming from this plant. So it's like it's coming up more, okay? That's why I'm saying it will be that way. And... I'm just having fun. I hope if you are doing this project, you are having the same excitement I have. And, and I'm telling you, this is awesome. You will love it. And even if you don't, um, you know, be a regular embroidery person, but this is something that is fun. You can take your time and do it. There's not no big rush, but it's very common and plus calm, calmly. <laughs> calm. It's very calm okay and it makes you relax and it's just something to do when you if you have a busy day and you need something to just you know lay back and just relax you know some people like to do a lot of things with their hands this is perfect to do embroidery so let with that said let us do this one and we can start right now Okay, we have the purple hair. I already put my knot in, the quilter's knot, so we're gonna go underneath. And um, like I said, we're gonna outline this first. And I wanted to make sure when I outline it, I wanna make sure that none of the, you know, you might do it with pencil, you might do it with pencil, or you might do it with your markers, or you might even just do it with a color pencil. But whatever you use, you want to make sure it's all hidden underneath the thread, okay? And this is not something you're going to wear, so you don't have to worry about, oh, it might, it might show up on the, you know, show it, you know, usually when you wear broad, you, you don't want your um, outlines to show of how you um you know draw your items so this is on the art here and another thing too i wanted to say that by us embellishing fabric on top of fabric that's a like almost like boho or collage you can say it's like collaging fabric so so many names you can give this um this project that i'm doing Okay, now see, I'm gapping a little bit, which is fine because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. So what we're going to do, like I said, I'm outlining this. So this is not, uh, so this is basically an outline stitch. Now you can go with your outline and stitch and just go right into that outline stitch, but I didn't do that. I have a little gap in my outline, okay? And outline I'm doing now is a back stitch. So I'm gonna go back stitch, stitch here, and you can just put it right in between the other stitch. You can do that as well, see? So it's up to you how you wanna embellish your fish. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the back stitch on the front of this too as well. So we come up, go into the other thread, and go down. See, and it's like, it's a really good outline. Okay, go up, which is a back stitch because we're going backwards, and go right into, hopefully everybody can see this, go right into the other stitch, and it's perfect. Okay, let's do it again. Go all the way to the tip of that drawing I did. And 
go right into the previous stitch okay here we go now we're going back stitch here too so we're going right here make sure all the ink or the pencil whatever you using guys make sure you cover it well because it's not going to show it's going to be covered anyway now see this is really close to the fish but it's fine it's fine because what I'm going to do I'm going to go where the fish at at the end right there and I'm going to bring this thread up and go here right into the last stitch okay remember because if you was drawn with a pencil you know you would do certain things you just do okay now I'm going to go here at this point go over here same spot put it right into that stitch there see and then I'm going to go right here on this stitch here if you want you can go right into the previous stitch that you did earlier and then go on and go right into that stitch so this is what you call free form embroidery so whatever you choose to do is up to you <laughs> that's what I'm saying okay because it's art it's your art you are boss of your art that's why we call it boss of mixed media but you still want to make sure that it looks very nice so anybody can say, oh wow, that's really awesome. Now we can do like I did the first one. I did, I gapped it. I mean, I went in different stitches. Now I can go keep going up into that stitch or just go beside it and just go up. So it's not a back stitch, it's a straight stitch. And I pull something else. But if you pull another fat thread, don't worry, just get it. And bring it down and there we go all right there we go so I have a gap in between those see gap there one two three a gap there now I'm gonna go across but I'm gonna go cross here so I'm going here something is telling me to go across I could have did that earlier but it's fine I'm gonna do it now because something just said I'm gonna go across to make that just like the other side because like I said it's going to be free form and there you go now see I didn't do that with this school of fish I just went around the fish but this one I'm just doing it straight across and if you notice all the fishes are different okay now if you want I can go like this too bring it down I mean up and then come down Cause I can come with the other thread which will be the yellow and we don't have to do this all purple and yellow we can add another color to highlight it so I'll think of a color while I'm doing this okay if you really thinking about you want something that really pop think about the color or have your colors already established I had the color established the yellow and purple but now that as I'm doing it I might want to change my mind. We are entirely entitled to change our mind because guess what? We're the boss of art and creativity, which is boss up mixed media. You are the boss. You do what you want to do because it's your art. <laughs> okay. So whatever you decide to do, do it. Okay. Now, here we go. Now this one I am going in between the stitch and I'm bringing it down because I want this one to go the way I want it. So there we go. Now I can do this again in the middle part right here. Bring it up. Now I can go all the way across if I want but I decide I'm going to do a couple of stitches. So and I'm going to come up here and make it to a back stitch and to make it more convenient. So I'm hoping you guys are seeing this and now I'm doing left hand. <laughs> okay, here we go because I want y'all to see that. There we go. Now, I will tie this eventually later, but I'm going to take the thread, pull it off. Now, I did an outline with the purple. Here we go. We have an outline here, there, and we're going to see how we're going to do the yellow. So meantime, 
Let me put this needle aside. And I will go pick up my yellow thread. Now I can outline this fish, but let's see. Do I really want to outline the blue here? I can just to pop it more and let that white show. So let's see how it will work. Let's just try it. Because you can always untake it out, but I really don't want to take it out because I see the vision before I even did it. Do it. Okay, so here we go. Now I can go on this side right here. I can come up on the same stitch I just did. Come up. And I can go right back down. You notice I'm in if you notice I'm sequencing to the white. And then I can go over here. And I will go right back to the stitch we just did. Go down. Remember this is free form. You do what you want to do, people, with your embroidery. But you are following the print of your fabric. You're outlining whatever you're doing. You're outlining the fabric, which you can basically call this collaging, or you can call it po hobo, or you can call it, as I say, free form. Okay. Now, I highlighted the yellow, and on here, you notice I still had the blue showing on each fish. Do I want to do that? I can. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go all the way across. I'm not even going to go stitch. I'm just going to go across to that other stitch, the last stitch that I previous did and just go down. Oops. Let's get away from there and bring it down. There. See, so I still have that layer of purple there and the layer of yellow, and I'm going to pull it more. And now I'm going to bring that yellow. Let's bring it up. Because I'm trying to make each fish different. Now, what I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. But I just had a vision of doing this. So I'm going to bring this underneath. And then I'm going to bring it over here underneath. Like I said, you don't have to do it. But I decided it's my project. I can do whatever I want to do. And if it don't look right, I can just always take it out. <laughs> and then I'll go to the last one. So it's bringing that purple and that yellow in a different form. See, it's, and then you don't want to do too tight. You want it to, and that's why I did that loop. Now I can, oops. Now I can just leave it alone and then just bring it down on this side right here which I'm going to do and bring it down so it have that woven yellow in it there you go so you have two tones of yellow and it's something different now and now um, that third color I'm going to put right in there okay but I'm going to come up with the yellow here and bring it up and I'm going to do two stitches here. So I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to do a back stitch and let's move it away from the pole or should I say my plant there. And then let's go here, bring it back up and we're going to bring it down into the yellow. And there we go. So, and then I'm going to come up. You can come up right here at the tip again. And what I'm going to do, the same thing we just did. 
we want to bring it down and look at that we're going to bring it down and then we're going to come on this side come up and bring it down because all you you know if you look at fish they all unless they want them all uniform but i didn't want all of mine's uniform and there we go and that yellow is hitting right there on the opposite side okay now this one we're going to do it exactly like we did on that side so we're going to do this here bring it down and we're going to come in bring it up and we're going to bring it down there we go inside that yellow and there we go hey how is that now I'm going to leave that color in there so whatever that color is going to be I'm going to leave that there and I actually think I'm going to do how about we do this I just thought about it we can do this or we're going to do green so while I'm still coloring or should I say still moving this I'm thinking about doing the blue or the green we're going to decide in a few minutes because you notice in this fish here which we're going to move a little back a little bit if you notice this fish here has the purple the green and a touch of orange so I can put orange in there if I want but I'm thinking about doing the blue to bring and give it that pop okay now we're going to come up now I'm going to do the twist on this come up now we can go underneath and bring it from this way I hope y'all can see this on the camera and go this way go in there we go and then we're going out actually I wanted to twist so let me just bring it down with the thread because I just noticed I'm doing that let's do it because I want that that to go a twist around that thread there's two ways we can do it there we go see how that purple is standing out there so then I'm coming back up let's come back up here on the tip sometimes you gotta renew over your thread and think about it okay and then we're gonna come right back under here let's see can I do it can it come okay oh I don't want it to go on the other one I just want it here on this bottom here and did it do a twist yes it did and then we're going to bring it back down because I want it just to show highlight of that purple and then go back down and then I know everybody said how did she do that but here we go there we go now we have that okay so we're going to go back you can see the two colors but like I said when we get the other thread I'm just going to squeeze it in between there now I'm going to bring the yellow now by itself again I just thought about it let's bring it in again on the angle and then we'll come back up where the point up there at the top and then we're going to come back down and we're going to put it right into it into that stitch which is the back stitch we're going to do the same here come on the angle bring it up don't worry we're going to get rid of that some lines there and bring it down come back up at the tip up at the top there and then we're going to bring it back down Sometimes you, you have to think like you really actually using a pencil to color a crayon. Only thing we doing our coloring with thread. Okay, which is the floss. Okay, now I'm going to leave that like it is for now. And then we're going to leave that because I can just color all of that in with the blue or the green. Whatever I decide at that point, I will sh we will fill that in. But right now we're going to go 
We're going to go now to the fence. We're going to come up with the yellow. And we're going to actually go all the way up to the point, come down with that yellow. Now see, here we go, right. And then we're going to do the same here. Come all the way in, the, in that point there. Come all the way up. Bring it down where the other one at. If you want, you can stick it right into the yellow at that point. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. It's not. See, I did that. I stick it right into that yellow. Bring it down. And voila, it's there. Okay. So we're going to do the same again. Bring that yellow up. Bring it up. Stick it in near there. Bring it down. So you want that yellow to pop and then bring it back up down. Bring the yellow at that point. And bring it there and bring it back up and then bring it back down. All we're doing is filling in. Now, I don't want to fill in any more of the yellow. So let's decide if I do that blue, if I do whatever the green, we can do the rest with that. So let's just go over here and do this one. Let's do it now. I'm gonna do it faster since you have an idea of what I'm doing. And let's do it again. And do the other side the same way. Bring it up. Come to that point. Bring it down. And we're going to do it again. And actually, I think. Okay. I think. Let me just do this. I think right there. I want that covered. So let's just bring it down. Right. Now we we'll go here again. Bring it up. I don't know if y'all saw it, but I saw that and I know I can do better. So that's why I filled that in more. Now see, perfect. Okay, and I think we should bring it more yellow on this part. It is actually raining here in Pennsylvania where I'm at. And the holidays coming up, which is Thanksgiving, um, the day here as I'm doing this. I believe if you're looking at this, this is going to be recorded sometime before Thanksgiving. So to all of you that's watching me, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody have a good Thanksgiving. Okay, so you see how I blend that color with that. Make sure that is that. And I'm thinking about actually putting some more yellow there. Let's try it again. And bring it to that point. Because remember, we're just making the fish that is there. Because I want to put that blue there. But I don't want it. Let's try it one more time with the yellow. Because this is your project. This you making this fish what you want it to be. And whatever you decide, and I decided I want more yellow there. So, and I want to keep that blue there, and I want whatever third color there. And we want to keep that like it is because we want to do the eyeball and the French knot. So, I'm going to just naturally, um, do I need any more yellow anywhere else? Let's see. Should I bring more yellow? Let's bring one more time. So let's do that. One more. One more should do it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to bring our third color in. So while I'm going to slip underneath it, and we're going to do the this blue. So let's see. Let's take it off here so I'm going to go this length okay cut the fabric I'm going to um, tap the top 
I know I haven't did this a while with y'all, so let's do it. Tap it to separate the threads. So I separate the threads now. I'm going to do a three strander, three three, so the six strands all together. So we're going to divide it into threes. And let's see this making, is this going to be difficult for me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Perfect. Now we're going to split the six. And actually I think it's not split. This went to four two. Let's see, let's go back up to the top. Okay, yes it did. But like I said, you're the boss of your project. If you want to do four, it's fine, but I want to do three. So let's do this. I'm going to divide it by three. There we go. Three, three. If it don't go all the way the way you want to separate it, just go with the flow and it will separate eventually. Okay, and, and then it's doing it. So I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, three, three. Yes, because I feel as though since I started with three, I'm going to keep that momentum going. So here we go. Now, we thread the needle. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. We do it. Pinch the thread or the floss, whatever you want to call it. Bring the needle down, go up into it. Perfect. We're going to do a quiltus knot. Okay. Put your thread. Okay, I see right here is a needle, so I'm going to snip that right there. Remove that extra thread there. Let's make sure it's even right. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four. If you like, you can do less. It's up to you. Bring it to the bottom. That's your knot. The quote this knot. See it? Okay. Now I'm going to go back up where in between this with the blue, which I believe is like a turquoise. But you're the boss of your project, so you just do whatever you want. But I'm going to do it with this blue to give it the pop. And anyway, I see this color works well with this purple and the green and the yellow. So let's keep that momentum going. Okay, and it's, and it's working well. Right there. And I'm actually going to, where I stopped that yellow, I want to put that blue there. Let's try it. Because like I said, you're the boss of your creativities. You're the boss of your embroidery. So you do what you want. You don't have to make everybody else project. You can do your own project. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm letting people know. This is an art form. So you can just think of whatever you want to do. But you're doing it with thread. So the pencil on paper or crayons or markers or ink or paint you're just doing what you want to do now see here is enough that I can go actually one more time and I think I can go more than once but I'm going to see so I'm not going to say nothing yet until I put my needle up in there and we can go from there okay so we coming down okay and we getting caught on with that but don't worry we can move that real quick and here we go and we have to fill it in because remember I said I do not want that marker to show at all. And guess what people is working. <laughs> okay, like I said, you're the boss of your creativity. And there we go. Now see it's filled in and it gave it the pop that we needed. So I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you at the end. So we're going to keep on doing this and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, now we at the last part, 
with it. I said we want to basically try to fill it in and we filled it in. So now we're at the last part of this thin, which is the tail. So I'm going to try to maneuver this blue because I do want some blue in between there too, which is like a turquoise blue. And we did it. So I want to do one more. And guess what? I am not seeing the marker now. So that is awesome too as well. Okay, we're going to bring that blue in. And you hear my train. <laughs> the train is coming by. <laughs> okay, but anyway, here we go. We have the blue there in between the yellow and the purple. And it gave it that boop, that pop. So now I'm going to go in between this yellow and blue here. Okay, and I will see you at the end of this. Let's see, can I do this one? I'm sorry about the trains, everyone. I don't know their schedule. They come in town frequently, but sometimes they have different schedule on their um on their timeline. So <laughs> it's fun, though. It's, it's good to hear trains, right? Okay, here we go. Now I am filling it in, so that's what we're doing. I'm filling it in with this this beautiful turquoise blue but I'm gonna say royal it looks royal to me but it looks turquoise too so I don't know what it looks like to you on your camera so but it gives it the pop and it's giving that blue towards we still have that theme of that blue purple green and orange okay so we kept it that way so if you feel as though you want to use another color and you don't want to go the color of the fabric of your fish fine because it's your project you're the boss and that's why we call this boss of mixed media because you are the boss of your creativity and you are doing it and if you can you can comment you can like and subscribe to my channel and the more you like and subscribe the more i can do this people because i know that you are interested Rested in this kind of stuff basically <laughs> okay and poetry is supposed to be fun anyway and I'm like trying to make it fun for people like who never did this because if you're a boarder you know if you're a boarder you will know that this is fun as you do it because you are making fun of your project but they have um people that has um projects that you can follow and which is decent because that's how I learned how to do embroidery too. But sometimes you just want to make your own thing. Now like I just did with this. I filled it in crossways instead of going straight in the triangle. But like I said, you are the boss of your creativity. So let's go that route. And there we go. It's in. Voila. Okay. Now I'm going to... I just decide I'm going to fill this in so let me see can I have enough of thread to fill this in with this turquoise blue or if you want to call it um royal blue whatever color you want to call so I'm actually going to cover it up I'm going to make that make this mellow pop so bear with me you just go up and down you just a filling stitch Sometimes you can call a filling stitch satin stitch, but we just gonna say fill in right now. Okay, remember people, you are the boss of your creativity. So when you do stuff like this, you can call this your thing. I call this too, it's like free form. You can call it slow stitch, you can call this um, collage because you add fabric on top of fabric or you can call it hobo it's up to you because you put in all different pop colors and stuff so whatever you decide because you're the boss of your creativity and that's why you call the boss of mixed media because you are the boss we can mix it up okay and not only that you are doing it with thread and which is awesome because threads always the end thing right now in embroidery if you embroider and if you already have, you do embroidery you know sometimes you gotta challenge yourself to do something that you is out of the norm and this is it okay so as I fill this in as you see all the embellishments we did so far with this 
project. I can't wait until um, December, because December we are going to, if you was following me at the beginning when I first started this page, Boss Up Mixed Media, I said we want to do a hoop that contains the whole year. So I'm going to do it with you guys. We're going to decide our theme of our hoop and for 12 months and we're going to measure and depending on what size hoop you, you're using. I, I had a 8 inch hoop the last time I did it between 8 and 12. I'm not sure. I'll do the measurements again to make sure. But I believe it was 8 to 9 12 inch one of them stitches but anyway one of them hoops <laughs> stitches okay one of them hoops and I decided to do the hoop maybe I might do it this big I'm not sure so it could be a large hoop you can do a small hoop if you just starting to do this you can do a small hoop and I decided I'm gonna do a big hoop this time so it's up to you guys because it's your creativity it's your hoop you're the boss. And in the comments, this if you like, put in the comments what you like to do your hoop. What do you think? Some people do flowers, some people do um, the zodiac sign, some people do gemstones, some people do all types of um like butterflies or flowers, and whatever you decide for your hoop for the year. So I haven't decided. I have three in mind, but I'm going to um, figure this out. But I have to do it before December. And right now, I have three in mind. I was thinking about doing butterflies this year, but I'm not sure as as of yet. Okay, now we filled in our school of fish. This believe I believe is done. It came out really well. And it has the pop of blue, which is the royal blue, or like I said, turquoise or whatever, but I think it's royal blue like. But royal blue is a little dark, so let's go with the turquoise. And um, we have the, the yellow and we have the purple outline. And it just gives the, the school of fishes really nice because every fish is not the same. If you have aquarium, you have different fish. So right now, I'm going to take my needle, bring it up, and guess what, people? We're going to do a fish, French knot for her or whoever this fish is. It could be a he or she. <laughs> a French knot. And what I did, let me start. Let me do it again so you can see it. I'm going to move over here a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now, I pulled the needle. I went up. Okay. Now, we're going to take the thread. One two three four bring it down it's right there and if you did your front knife not correct you should your needle should rock then you pull it down slowly and there we go and almost pulled the other french knot now i didn't make this french knot as big as this one but you can still see it's a french knot and it's perfect what do you think guys so we have our French knot and we already embellished our fish. We covered the the, the um the outline that I made the fish bigger because I didn't want it small. Okay. And now the next project we're gonna do is gonna be this. I'm gonna do this and then you know what? And we're gonna do a couple more French knots. So before we even do this, I'm gonna do French knots with this fish here. And the French knot is gonna be green. And with the large of this um, fish, the circles, is the French knot, I'm gonna do the thread instead of being three, I'm gonna make sure it's six strands because we want the knot to be really big. And I'm gonna make sure. But then I had another vision of the knot. I can do double of that thread to 12 so that um doing six we do 12 because see how big that one is so maybe we'll do that in 12 the um floss in 12 but now i'm going to permanently show you um how to i'm gonna glue this down 
I'm using a glue stick. And this is how I put all my fish. So since I'm not doing this one today, I'm just showing you how I do it. And so when I get back to that project, which will be our last step, because I want to do December, the next project. So I'll just slightly, with this glue stick, slightly just put it there. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to slightly put it on my fish. And then I'm putting it on the fins as well. And a little bit on here. It don't have to be, long as it's enough to hold the fish down so when you do the needle. And you don't have to worry about the, the um, needles getting caked up with, um, with glue. It's not going to happen because I stick glue and it's pretty decent. Now I decided to put it here. And so the next time when I get to this, it will be glued down. Matter of fact, I'm going to put something to hold it down. To make sure it stay down. So I did put this here. And next one we will do this fish. And like I said, I'm going to embellish it. I'm going to show you how to. We're going to embellish this trimming to the tail. Now, I might just go like this with the tail. Let it go overlap that so it can really look pop. And then I'm going to bring it over to the purple and, and when we get to it. And it'll just be just like that. Okay, what do you think, guys? Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay. So in the meantime, like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to hear your comments on what you think so far. And I can't wait until if you did this project with me and it's your project and you know what this is all free form and it's hobo boho I'm sad I'm sorry hobo it's boho <laughs> and it's collaging because you collaging is the fabric on top of fabric and plus we embellish it with the embroidery threads um you can do um, so many different things like we put textures, we put buttons, we put um, the trimmings, um, we made we made pebbles and we put used cotton to make it a 3D. We did use wax thread that usually you use when you do leather and it came out perfect for the seaweed or should we say coral or whatever you want to call this as your plant. We use beadwork. We use different seeds beads and make sure it looks so nice and bullish and with sequence and we did all the French knots so that's there and now we finish completed our school of fish and the turtle that I add I just embellish it with thread which is the floss and you don't have to do the whole fish okay you can do embellish it with just partial of the fish because that blue really pops it out so I'm debating should I do that with this fish as well it might work but this one I did the tally the whole fish except that little blue there so you have to decide what you want to do because you are the boss of your project you are the boss that's why we call this channel boss of mixed media we do threads we do drawing we do cutting we do everything whatever my mind go to that's what I do so with that said, have a good one. It was fun, everyone. Bye.